Let's start by defining some terms we'll use today. Our first term is signaling. Signaling is the name used to identify a communication protocol between ATM devices. ATM networks require all devices to constantly exchange information about what is occurring in the network. This type of communication, called signaling, is not used to move user data, but to actually set up and break down the connections between devices. ATM signaling is similar to how your phone signals another phone about a call request. Next is virtual circuit. In order to understand virtual circuits, we need to first review circuit switching. In the telephone world, when a connection is established between two devices, it's called a circuit. In a data environment, we have a physical wire or cable that connects PCs to switches or switches to switches. This cable is the physical connection. A virtual circuit is the path that data takes across that cable. One cable can handle lots and lots of virtual circuits with each using different addresses, different frequencies, or different timing. Each separate data path between switches is a virtual circuit. So the physical connection is the physical circuit, and the electronic data paths between switches are called virtual circuits. Our next terms are VPI and VCI. These acronyms stand for Virtual Path Identifier and Virtual Channel Identifier. VPIs and VCIs are tags that are used to indicate which virtual circuit a packet of data is associated with. Ethernet uses a destination address to traverse a network, but ATM does not. Since ATM creates circuits across the network, ATM cells only need to be addressed with which circuit to travel on. To understand this concept, think about how you give directions. Instead of just telling someone the final address, you tell him or her which roads to take to get there. VPIs and VCIs are like the names of the roads you list in your directions.